Hey guys, I'm back again, and uh, today, while I move my microphone around, uh, we are doing, um, we're gonna learn some simple C++ use for Arduino. Okay, it's recording. But, C++ is a version of Java that the Arduino uses, since I have the Arduino IDE here. I just figured I'd do a video on it. Do something very basic today, like getting LEDs to flash. Then we'll get a little bit more complicated, but that'll be stretching my knowledge of C. Now, on your void setup, this is where you, well, where you put your code, where you set up your code to run. So, what we do is we do pin mode. Oops. And is there a, um, capitalization is very important in here. Which is very hard for me to do, so I'll keep screwing stuff up if I don't do that. So we do pin mode. Let's do pin one, comma, uh, output it has to be in all caps. <coughs> then we'll do pin mode two, comma, output. Then void loop is where you put the actual code that will run. This is going to identify what you're using. So what we'll do is we'll do digital write one comma high. Now, easiest way to think of how this works is high and low on and off. High being on, low being off. But the way the Arduino would see this is High equals one, low equals zero. Binary one equals high, um, on, zero equals off. Then we can de delay. And I just realized something very important. You have to put a semicolon at the end of almost everything. Well, so we're going to do a good delay, 1,000. This is in milliseconds. So, a thousand would equal one second. If we wanted it to blink twice a second, we could do 500, but... Eh. I'm just gonna make it flash every second. Be... Oh, I didn't think about how I'm gonna show this to you. <laughs> well, the fact that it pushes over to the Arduino will be proof that the program works. Then we'll do, again, digital right um one comma low low being off then we will do dig yeah it tell right Two, comma, high. This will turn pin two on, so it'll be outputting a one. Then we'll do delay. And I keep forgetting to do this. Then we'll do delay as a thousand milliseconds. Then we go digital right two comma low so what this will do is it'll turn pin one on high then it will wait a second turn it to low when it turns it to low it will also turn two to high it will it will wait a second then it will turn that off. It will just flash between the two colors now. Now, the Arduino is plugged in, so we will upload. Don't need to save it. Just you need to push it over to the Arduino. And it's not giving an error, so I guess it works so far. 
Now that I said that, it probably won't work, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, it worked. Now, only problem is I don't have a good movie or video editor. So, I mean, only thing I have on here is Movie Maker, and that doesn't support ABIs. I've already tried that. And I don't have a camera right now. But this has just been a very simple introduction to C++, Arduino, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to tell you this now. The easiest way to learn is go to the examples, find something really complicated, and just look at the code they use and how to use it. And I'm assuming that since it's at the bottom, it's really complicated. LCD. Oh, that's nice. Robot control. Hello, user. But really, if you just look at these codes, you can learn a lot about this as a... Like, you can just learn this. I mean, that's the only reason I know all this, because I played around with these codes and was able to understand it. Like... Once you get a basic understanding of it, you can do right click, new text document, C++. Then you'll be able to do void loop. Like, wait. So you'll type your code in here. No, you want to do it. You'll just type your code in here. Drag it to your Arduino software. If it's able to push to your Arduino without a problem, you've done pretty well with it. If not, um, you need to do a little bit more or just revise your code if you, like, forgot to put a character or forgot to capitalize something. So what we'll do is we'll try that again in the notepad. And then we'll see if it is able to flash to the Arduino. So void set up. In mode, one comma output. I'm not gonna do that whole code again. I'm just gonna make it blink one light. So void, no, void, void set. No, this is a loop. Then we'll do digital write um, one comma high then we'll do delay one thousand. Then digital one comma low and this should work unless I screwed it up and someone a lot smarter than me saw it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go copy Arduino IDE. Wait for this to load. You see this? What the heck? Okay, I already see what I did wrong. This is two words. You saw nothing. That's weird. No. H I spelled a word wrong. 
See, I was close. I never said I was the best at this. But, what? What now? Uh, air compiling. Okay, okay, maybe I'm not as good as I thought, but I mean, like I knew I wasn't great. Just file examples basic blank. I don't care. Void setup. Did I really just forget to add a space there? Wrong bracket. Again, wrong bracket. And upload. Don't want to save it to my computer. Remember earlier when I stressed the importance of the semicolon? <sighs> I mean, that was close. So it's able to upload to the Arduino. So that's how we know it works. No. No. Don't save. Cycle. Okay, um, I just want to go over a few things before I end this video. I'm going to completely give up on the Red Star OS thing, because one, no one's watching it. Two, I can't get it to work. I tried for about an hour yesterday. Wasn't able to do it. I will be possibly doing more programming for Windows now that I got Visual Studios. I am working on a web server. I will not be setting that up because Comcast does not allow um, access to port 80 on the router, i.e. HTTP. So, only if on my network and if you have my IP address can you connect to it. Now, I will not be showing that on the internet because 1. My IP address, I don't need that DDoS. And 2. I don't need any of my router or website information out there. I do have a website hosted on Google Sites because I was messing around with that. It's basically the website for channel, but don't use it for anything anymore. And I will be using the Windows IIS, IIS client, which basically is a web server built into Windows. You don't need any third-party software. It's all Microsoft. So you don't need to bother with any of that. But now that it's almost over, uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.